FTP time. Now, it's been a while since I've done an FTP test. I've not done one since, well, I can't remember when I last did one. It was earlier on in the year, did some more races. Then I went out doing my summer rides and I'm actually intrigued to see what impact the summer rides have had, I've had on my FTP. And this is the first video with a green screen, which is behind me. Hopefully you were seeing, not green, you were seeing something, you were seeing this rough screen that I've got on. You might see times in this video where my head pops off or my arms pop out of screen. I'm getting used to it. So maybe you've got your first indoor training set up and going with your first smart trainer or maybe even you're thinking about doing it. I would highly, highly, highly recommend getting the Elite Zoom off what I've got. The reason they're cheap at the minute, there is one above it that's the same price what I paid last year, which is worth getting. They are a great training tool. All the rides I did indoors last winter absolutely helped this summer when I've been out riding. I've done some cracking rides, even had a few good PRs, even got a KOM on my way to work, which I lost. But yeah, definitely helped, made it more enjoyable. So anyway, the FTP test starts off as you can see on the screen there, warm up for 120. Warm up 120 watts for five minutes. It's a reasonably easy pace. I'm doing the 45 minute short version. There is a long version and there is a ramp test as well. A lot of people do prefer the ramp test over this. I didn't. I weren't getting the same sort of numbers what I get outdoors. They were completely contradicting each other. Let's blast through this warm up and let's get to the the interesting part. I'm gonna turn my fan on. And uh yeah, let's go. The first bit of the warm up done, it's just an opportunity to get your legs warmed up for the hell and torch that's gonna end shoot. Now it uses erg mode, so all you need to do is keep your legs turning and the power builds up for you. God, that was hard. So yeah, three minute rest. And as you can see there, I've got three minutes at 325 watts, two minutes at 355 watts. Then I've got six minute rest and then torture time and then a five minute cool down. Not looking forward to this. No one ever said FTP tests are easier, but they are a good training tool as long as they perform correctly. So now we're at 150 watts, that was hard. That 355 was a killer. Six minute cool down, and then it's into an FTP 20 minute test. Now, the trainer won't control anything. I control all that. Erg mode gets switched off, so it's just up to me to see. How much power I can hold 20 minutes, and at the end of that 20 minutes, it'll give me an FTP score. I'll be honest with you, I don't use power when I'm out on the road. I've got a power meter, but for me, it's just important getting out there. But it is a good benchmark of how much my training is progressing. Right, I'm gonna get myself ready. I've got three minutes to compose myself and get ready for 20 minutes of hell. I'll see you on the flip side. Okay, music time and prepare for hell. Hey Siri, play Enter Sandman. For obvious reasons, I can't put this on YouTube. minutes down, feeling dead.
just over halfway through. That's we tried another 10 watts then. Absolutely not. Good God, it's killing me. Five minutes in, and I'm done. The legs are on fire. I keep pushing through. I've been trying to hold my previous FTP's power from last year after I've done a full winter of training. Sounds like excuses. Might be. My legs are on fire. That's the true facts. I can't keep my hands still. But keep pushing. FTP of 260, it's dropped from 285. Now it could be a combination of things. It could be not feeling it, not pushing myself hard enough. I've had tight knees last few days, but it is what it is, 260. Now, I could bitch and moan about it, but I'm not I'm just gonna throw myself into some hard training and get it back up there. Um, I'm interested to see what the Garmin says. I've had my Garmin running, um, but it's not giving me an FTP score. I just had it on Ingo Ride though, so I don't know if it'd do it an FTP score on that. But previously, out on the road, I've had an FTP score on the Garmin of 318. But that could be a variety of things changing weather, changing air pressure. I believe the stages, as I've got, power meter, that's quite uh, reactive. Oh god, to different temperatures and whatnot. Or is it a case of when I'm outside, I can swing the bike from side to side, and that gets me an higher FTP, being able to have more movement on the bike. But whatever it is, time to get training, time to build that score. Time to build the fitness. Till next time, take care, enjoy yourself, keep your legs turning. Any questions, pop them down below. And please consider pressing the subscribe button. Until next time, guys, adios. Bye, amigos. God, I come out with some waffle at the end of the video. Ciao, guys.